Well, they, what happens at home where we are, we've got uh, quite a lot of sandy soils. And on the sandy soils, because wheat likes dry feet, generally the farmers will get the best crop out of wheat. So there are clients there that grow wheat every year. And then they'll come back with a double crop of either peas or soybeans or grain sorghum. The places where you see the difference, the most difference, is the fellow who grows grain sorghum. Because it's easy to tell when you've got uh, maize or grain sorghum because when it starts to get dry, the leaves curl up. And you start to realize, well, you know, we need some rain for the leaves are curling. Well, we'll look at that a little later as well. But one of the, one of the fellows that we were working with uh, asked me that question and they said, well, we're gonna just work in as many fields as we can if we don't get behind, we'll work in half of every field and then burn the other half. And they didn't get behind, they got it done. And then he called and said, when you're down here, come take a look with me. As we drove along, every place they had planted grain sorghum after the wheat, he said, you know, where, on the side where we worked in the residues, we'll have the grain sorghum growing quite well, but he said, on the side where we burn, three days ahead of time, the leaves will begin to twist. He said, on the side where we worked it in, we get another three days of growing. It happened three times that year. So he said, I got nine extra days of growth out of my grain sorghum just by working the stubble in. Because it's dry land, it's not irrigated. 